All right, now he's trying to escape through a web at me. Try and drink his potion. Can't seem to get him. He's floating. Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase. And today we are going to take a look at the Better Dungeons mod. They actually just updated this mod to 1.6.4 and there are a bunch of brand new bosses and a new structure as well. So what I'm going to do for this review is pretty much go over all the new stuff. And if you want to see the old review, I will leave the link down below. So let us get started. So the first boss is the Dwarf Engineer. And this dude is freaking awesome looking. So what I'm going to do is fight him and show you guys exactly what he does here. Alright, so he's like in a machine. He has 100 health and the machine has 140. And it shoots bullets at you. You can kind of avoid them, as you can see right here. And if you get close, sometimes he'll smack you even while his machine is shooting bullets at you. But you have to kill his machine first. And you're going to notice something really funny when you get him off the machine. So I'm going to try to kill it as quick as I possibly can here. Trying to like avoid all the damage. And it's dead. And you're going to notice he's actually wearing a scouter. I'm in like Dragon Ball Z right now. He's pretty cool looking. And his weapon does have knockback on it. I'll show you guys right here. Yeah, it kind of knocks you back pretty far. And he's extremely powerful. I have full diamond armor on. So I'm going to have this apple right now. I just don't want to die. I want to show you guys exactly what they do, you know, without killing myself. And my sword does have sharpness 3 on it. So his defense is extremely high. So he's not easy to kill, as you can see. And he's like a small dude, too. It's very powerful. So I'm going to try to take him down. And he does have a pretty cool ability when he gets down to low health. And so do a couple other bosses. And he's going to run away. All right, one more hit. And now he's backing up as quick as he can. He's trying to escape. And this is so funny. Now he's drinking a potion. <laughs> Come on, bro. Fight me like a man. You don't need potions. So it gives him 20 health. And you're probably going to want to try to kill him before he can actually do that. Have my apple. He does hit like a freaking truck. He really does. All right, so almost got him down here. He's not going to drink another potion. He can only do it once. And he's dead. He dropped a diamond and also his weapon. So this spear, it does like as much as a diamond sword, but if you hold it back like this and then hit an enemy, it does one more damage. The next boss you guys might have actually seen in my mob battles. And this dude, when we used him in the battles, actually was not finished quite yet. So this is the badass Minotaur. I know it says Minotaur boss right here, but if you right click and bring him in, badass Minotaur, which is the most epic name ever, it really is. And what he does, he runs around like a freaking psychopath and attacks you. And he even has this move where he like smashes the ground kind of, which you're going to see in a minute. But yeah, he hits extremely hard. So I'm going to just throw the apple on right now. He can seriously take you down in like two hits if you're unlucky. Not really a surprise. I mean, look at the size of that weapon right there. And this is probably one of the most annoying battles because you're going to be like chasing him around the whole time. The dude is always on the go. I'm going to try to make him do his other move if we can here. Come on, bro. Come back here. Don't run away from me. This boss is the only boss that has ever been scared of me before. So, guys, he really doesn't want to do that move for some reason. So, what I'm going to do is spawn in the Specter Lord and have him fight him. And he's probably going to do it against him. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. All right, he's charging in. Come on, bro. Just hit him and do the move. I really want to see it. He's, like, stuck in between the chests. What I can do is spawn in a bunch, and that will definitely get it going, I would think. All right. Okay, right there. You see that move where he's, like, knocking, like, sand back? What it does is it pushes back enemies. So, yeah, he will do that against you, but it's not his most common move. And it doesn't really do too much damage. But it is pretty interesting. So, when you kill the Minotaur, he is going to drop the Earth Crusher. And this is a pretty cool weapon. It actually does his ability as well, which I'll show you guys in a second. And we will test out the spear on the next boss too. All right, so the next one is the goblin boss. And this is probably the easiest one and the weirdest looking. It's like a dude on a healer's shoulders. So here we go. It's got 30 health for the healer and 50 for the boss. And he's literally like riding on its head. So if I use this one right here, the earth crusher... It's going to like do that move against him. So it's kind of cool. Knocks him back. Definitely useful when fighting like bosses. And yeah, they have really high defense, of course, all diamond armor. So this weapon right here doesn't do too much either. You know, it's doing like one, two damage. And if I hold it back, it does a little bit more, but really isn't showing any difference against this diamond armor. So I'm going to switch to my diamond sword here and try to finish off the healer. And I'm pretty sure he is going to try to heal himself when he gets really low. Yep. Same thing. 
So what you want to do is just, you know, try to kill them before they can do it. Like that. Because it heals for 20 health, doesn't matter, like, which one it is. And the goblin boss is kind of stuck under the ground. I've noticed this, like, bug a couple times now. And he does have a shield on and hits really hard. Um, what that means for you is since he has a shield, if you try to use arrows, he's going to deflect them. And you're going to have to fight him with a melee weapon. So I'll try to take him down here. Same thing with him. When he gets low on health, he's going to try to escape too and try to heal himself. So yeah, that's going to make boss fights a little bit more difficult. All right, I got him down to 26. He just doesn't want to die. His defense is so high. Diamond armor plus his shield plus he's like underneath the ground, which is weird. Trying to escape here. I'm not going to let it happen, guys. He's going so far away. All right, I can't seem to get him. And he was able to heal himself. So yeah, it's not always easy, especially if they're kind of like glitched under the ground like that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish him off and I will show you guys what he dropped. But his weapon doesn't really do anything special. It's kind of just like a normal weapon to attack with. But they might be adding in some like more stuff with it. But right now, it doesn't really do anything. So the next boss is the Gremlin Shaman. And this is kind of a cool looking dude too. So I'll put him right here. He's got 200 health and he like grabs you with his hook shoot. That's right, he's wearing a hook shoot. And I have like full diamond armor on. These guys hit so hard. So I'm going to hit him with my Moonlight, which dropped off the other boss. And you can see it does about 6 damage here, 6, 7 damage. So it is pretty powerful. And this dude is just going to try to reel you in like over and over again. And since he hits so hard, it is quite the challenge. But yeah, he has 200 health and he's like crawling on the ground. There are definitely some unique bosses in this mod. We almost got him down here. Definitely if you have a golden apple, it's going to be a big advantage against him. So he's down 36. Almost got him. He's at 25. He keeps like reeling me in. All right, now he's trying to escape through a web at me. Trying to drink his potion. Can't seem to get him. He's floating. This is so cool, I have to say. I really love all the new bosses. But I've killed him, and he has dropped his sword as well. Same thing with this one. It doesn't really have, like, a special ability to it. So the next boss is the Spectre Lord. I know you guys already saw him, but I didn't really show you what his moves do. So I will spawn him in, and I'm going to hit him with the Wind Sword, just as an example here. And, yeah, it does 7 damage to him, and look how hard he hit me. That was 4 hearts. I think my armor must be broken. No, it's not even broken, and I'm taking that much. 4 hearts of damage. I'm on normal right now, and... Yeah, not easy. So this dude, he's got 200 health and he's kind of like partially invisible. It's pretty cool looking. He doesn't do anything really special, but of course when he gets down to a low health, he will try to escape and heal himself. But he hits like a truck. I mean, four hearts of damage is a ton for having full diamond armor on. Almost got him down here though, guys. Gonna finish him off. He is down to 56 and I'm a little nervous. Once this apple wears off, I'm gonna be in trouble like right now. All right, he's down to 33, and once he goes below 10, he should try to run away and get himself a potion. All right, here it goes. Not going to allow it, bro. Not going to allow it. Dead. Didn't even get a chance. Same thing with his weapon. It doesn't really do anything special. So I think you guys are really going to love the next boss. They've actually added in a dragon. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. It actually goes after, like, all mobs is something I noticed, too. Um, so yeah, lots of mob battle choices. We definitely have a ton now. I'm pretty excited about that. But this right here is a giant dragon with 400 health. And what it does is it shoots fire at you. And it dives into you too. So very scary. Actually, have a. I thought I had a bow with me. Oh my god, I don't have a bow with me. I'm actually going to go into creative for this one. Because I don't think I can kill this dude very quickly. But yeah, he has two moves. He shoots fireballs at you. And he dives at you. And he actually drops something really cool too. Which I'll show you guys in a second. So guys, I switched into creative because it's going to take me way too long to kill this dude in survival. And yeah, what you're going to want is a ranged weapon, but you can attack him when he dives down at you. Kind of like when you fight the Ender Dragon. But this dude is definitely quite challenging. 400 health. He dives through the air at like an extremely like quick pace too. So guys, I tried to escape him by going into a cave, but somehow he's still hitting me. I put it into peaceful and yeah, that does not despawn this evil dragon right here. But what he drops is really important. He drops the dragon helmet. It gives you more health and more attack damage. So if I put this on, you can see I have five more hearts. I mean, that is definitely really cool. I love to see a mod do something like that. So guys, there is one more boss. And this one, it says it's just a test right now. It is the nether dragon. And yeah, it says it's a test. So probably not implemented. 
But this dude, he's like a Chinese dragon. And look at him. He's got 100 health. And he has one move where he, like, pours fire onto you. I'm probably going to have to switch back into survival for this one. So I'm going to do that really quick. All right. Here we go. And, yeah, the dragon is extremely mad and is chasing me on the ground for a second there. But, yeah, that was the move from the other dragon. You see how fire is, like, coming down? It, like, sprays it on top of you. And right now, that's his only move. But really hard to avoid not getting lit on fire. So, guys, as I mentioned, there is one brand new structure. And I don't know if this came with the 1.6.4 update. But this definitely wasn't in the mod when I last reviewed it. So, I definitely wanted to show it. And all I have to do is right click and it will generate it for us. I mean, look at this. A bunch of buildings, like massive buildings too. These aren't small. All right, that should be everything loaded in right now. So what I'm going to do is take a quick peek at it. Let me grab some torches so we can actually see. But yeah, how cool is it to like be in the ocean and see something like this underneath it? That would be amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break in right here. And yeah, here we go. There's a lot of lights around, like redstone lamps. And there are so many different rooms. I'm not going to go through like the entire thing. But um, there's even like sandstone walls. And a bunch of different chests in here. Grenades. All kinds of stuff. It's going to be so cool to see something like this in survival though. And yeah guys. I do plan on adding this to season 4 of Epic Proportions. Because it is so sick. And with these new updates. I definitely want to try it out. And yeah the place is massive. I mean maybe there's a couple like small glitches. Since I see like food on the crowd here. But it is very awesome. And here's the lamps too. And oh, I did notice there's a bunch of like different ways up like this. Like there's going to be a bunch of ladders like leading up in all directions like all over these structures. I noticed them in I think every single one of the structures. They had like some type of like ladder system like leading up towards the top. Let's check out another one real quick. All right, let's get out of here. So yeah, we looked at... The one right there, and there's like three big buildings and this like triangular shaped one. Looks more like a house. Alright, so I'll break into here real quick and let me put down some torches so we can see. Alright, here we go. Yeah, lots of chests, lots of stuff to explore. And I'm pretty sure there's like a ladder way up in every single room. And here's another chest right here. You know, some diamond armor and stuff like that is awesome to find. Alright, let me just break through here. And yeah, there won't be like water going through it most likely. Probably not, but I messed around with it a bit just to get into here so I could show you guys exactly what there was And yeah, here it is. This is like the way up and down throughout the structure And you can see there are many different floors and tons of stuff to explore But anyways guys, that's about all there is to show with this mod if you want to check it out The download is in the description and if you enjoyed the review I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time